Yeah. Okay. So the next one here is 20 year old Brighton midfielder. Uh, how do you pronounce his name? Is it Saicedo? Saicedo. Moises Quesado. Moises Quesado. That's how you pronounce it. So I'm just going to timestamp this at 36. And for the, for the people who don't know, Football London do a great breakdown on every player that we're linked to. So they've done a breakdown for 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 Casado, and we're just gonna we're just gonna take a second to appreciate the breakdown, so we don't have to do one ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so Casado, right? Uh, the thing about Casado is uh, he's 20 years old. He plays for Brighton. He's a midfielder. He is of the realm similar to a uh, 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 what's his name, Basuma, who's gone to Tottenham. Of course, he he's basically Basuma's replacement. He's only 20 years old. He's very young. Right, he is e- Ecuadorian. Interesting. I didn't know that. He played. He's played for Ecuador quite a few times already. Right. Yeah, he's played for Ecuador a couple of times. Uh, I thought he was uh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, he play. He's he's played for Ecuador a lot. Uh, he moved to Brighton at the age of nineteen for four point five million. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Let's see what else we we can find out about him. Um, later in the year, he was loaned out to a Belgian club. Okay, he didn't. He didn't actually play much. He only played. Tw- he only featured twelve games. Got two goal contributions. Um, Premier League last season, he played eight matches, and combined total of two goals. One of them was against Arsenal, if you guys remember, in that game that we lost. Um, I think it was Moepu that, that scored. Oh, I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah, I'm tripping. He scored against Manchester United, though. In this picture, but yeah, sh- shout out to him. I don't know too much about the guy, man. I'm not gonna I, lie to you. I actually, believe it or not, last summer I did an article on the best players that each Premier League team has loaned out. Um, because I, I didn't know a lot about Brighton, I messaged a Brighton fan that I know and said, Who's yours? and he said, This guy. So I wrote about him this time last year, and I thought that he actually I looked into him a bit. And he, he, he you know, I, I thought back then he looks a player and he's come to the Premier League. and taken to it really well. So I think he he's definitely one to keep an eye on for Brighton this season, definitely. Okay. Interesting. And then now the final piece of information for today, David Onstein. David Onstein has reported something. Uh something interesting earlier today. Did you see did you see what he reported? He, he not only did he speak about Bernardo Silva and Michael Edwards, but he had an opportunity to also give us a little update on the captaincy situation at Arsenal. And the, with this captaincy situation, this means Granit Xhaka is not going nowhere, people. To the people who do not like Granit Xhaka or do not want Granit Xhaka at the football club, he is not going nowhere. And you might want to close your eyes or look away because with David Onsen's report coming out stating that Granit Xhaka and Gabriel Jesus will be now made deputy captains uh, for Arsenal behind Martin Odegaard and given the leadership roles uh, that is new uh, uh, to these guys. Hmm. What does that mean? 